You get to taste different things, right? Let's try it, shoes. Our goal is to teach the children their food comes from a farm or a farmer, all of our food, and how it ends up in a factory, in a package, in a bottle, in a container, and into the grocery store, and finally onto their tables. It's cow poop. Look, look at this can be used for fertilizer on a garden, make the plants grow rich. It's a great deal of fun to interact with kids because each one brings their own perspective, uh, their own level of enthusiasm for this. And kids are a, an empty vessel waiting to be filled with new knowledge and so that's always encouraging. My favorite part of Farm to Table is the fact that I grew up on a farm outside of town here, so I love the idea of kids being able to learn where their food comes from and then to get the hands-on experience of coming over here and getting to try new things that come from gardens or that come from farms that maybe they've never tried before. <laughs> Not only seeing the kids try and experience something new, but it's just to be excited about hands-on learning. I really believe firmly that every child needs about six to eight people just kind of surrounding them, loving them, supporting them, and a couple of those folks are hopefully biological, but then they have other kind of people that would support them in the process. Usually teachers, and coaches, maybe a youth worker from church, uh, maybe just another caring adult. Uh, the church that I grew up in had that community feel. I had aunts and uncles, but I wasn't biologically related to one person, but we cared for each other as a community. We can teach. Teaching kids how food gets from farm to table. And we can extend that to the children and to the families. So I feel that my, I've come full circle and we are moving out now, moving into the future.